Well guys, Lily is, even after Monday discussion, which I've done and I've edited and I'm rendering, Lily is still up here in the hangout spot and it's beautiful and warm in here so she's cosy as up there. But guys, I am actually starting, well I've got some bits but I am actually starting Jessie's new enclosure. So I've emptied it out. I'm going to switch a big light on in here because I think I'm actually going to be needing it to see what I'm going to be doing. But I have already, because I've used this before, I've already got one side covered in. So that's nice and, yeah, no see-through there. I've still got, you know, I've got a piece from the back because I'm going to put a background on this one, I think. So I'll cover in this side. I've got to clean all that up, get rid of all the rust and give the inside a good scrub out. So I've got my hot soapy water and I have already sprayed some bits that I may put in the enclosure. But I use hot soapy water or hot water in this instant. Got me paper towels which I go through a ton of these with the guys. And I also use F10. And that's like 10 mil to a, a liter of water. The reason why I use F10 and why I like it is because you don't need to rinse it out of your enclosure. Basically, give your enclosure a good wipe out, dry it off with hot soapy water, get that out, spray your F10 in, diluted of course, leave it in till it dries. That's it. Spray it on and leave it until it dries. So that's the starting process guys and it's cleaning Whew. and sterilizing so stop fast forward eh so now I'm kind of up to that top now I'm going to be just giving this a wipe over but I'm going to be taking this completely off and giving it a good scrub with a Jex to um, get rid of all that rust. Well guys, I'm just finishing off tightening up that background that I've put in because I don't want Jesse to get in behind to get his nose and nudge it and pull it so I have to make sure it's pretty firm but I am going to have stuff in front of it as well so um, yeah I'm just going to give it a quick wipe over and press it in because I have uh, given it a bit of a a wipe but uh, I'm gonna give it an extra one okay well you might be able to see just fractionally some of it for the moment um, now it's on to <sighs> substrate I guess so here I go Well, I've put the aspen in and uh, I put aspen in this time. Jesse's had uh, repti bark so and he quite likes it actually but I don't have enough to do it this time. So of course when I do a big clean out again he will get the actual repti bark again but for now he's going to have to be satisfied with the aspen. I put about an inch of in the enclosure on the bottom and as you can see I have a pile of stuff to go through here so I'm going to start putting in 
and arranging and as I decide that looks okay I'll put the camera on for you so you can take a look well guys right now I'm kind of just fiddling things out I've got his branching his hammocking he's got a couple of hammocks in this one because of the height um, so he's got a couple of levels he's got the ground mid and a little bit higher if he needs to because that's where a lot of the walks will be and he also has his uh, branch but I've got to secure that of course it isn't secure as yet so on to securing that making sure it's not going to topple over when he climbs up on it I'll throw some plants in there and then I'll be tuning back in to show you where I'm at guys I I think that I've finished basically I don't know what you think of it and what you can and can't see but this is um, that log hide that I was talking about and Jesse can fit into it he's got his water bowl he's got one of his hanging plants so that's got his scent on it his hammock from the other one he'll get his log as well back in here but currently he's got that with him in the tub I've added some plant here because he can still climb up and through here and get up here to bask um yeah he's got some cork bark down here to crawl on he's got another piece of um like a stump thing here sitting over in the back corner so he's got space to lay down there in the back plenty of plant for coverage so i think that's pretty much it guys so the next step is going to be getting this mother of a thing over there and getting the lamp in and well on and warming it up I am going to put a heat mat down here it's a long way from the heat from there to there so you know maybe during the day I don't know I'll decide whether I actually flick it on or I don't have it on the actual heat mat under I don't really like them personally I don't really like the heat lamps either I would much rather have a heating panel but I don't have the advantage of having that for Jesse right now so all I've got to do is put his lid on put some bubble wrap this is a view down into his enclosure so I'll get the lid on this is pretty secure by the time I put the lid on it's it's not going to go anywhere well guys it's done and even though this light is probably quite distracting because there's flare off me or glow off me but I'm about to put Jesse back in. He's been in a tub and I'm sure he's, he's a little bit cold actually even though it's like 30 odd degrees up here. So I'm just looking to get him in and see where he's going to go and how he's going to react so okay boy bit difficult with him he's on his log which sort of travels with him so okay it's like right Dio Jess is a bit hard I could see him trying to get through the back of that uh, background actually hopefully he isn't able to I've done it as securely as I can 
but they're pretty strong with their head. He was gonna be so excited when he was when he sees his new home. Yep. And I think he's just adventuring like this is not my room, what is this? <laughs> yeah. He's gonna check everything out. You know, I I put things back in there that I did not wash, which was his original hammock, of course his log, his water bowl. And, and his log hide, so log hide, and a plant, one of the hanging plants that he's got. So he's got his scent throughout, and it's a really good idea, guys, to actually do that if you put them in to a brand new enclosure. And he finally got his body out of the cord. Mm -hmm. And, you know, guys, I didn't do a lot of me setting it up. Honestly, I've got two children all in the house. Um, I was busy being interrupted with things that they needed and so forth. So, um, you know, I hope what I did do was okay. But... Um, Anyway, we're going to oh, no. end it here. Because as you can see, he's just going to explore and explore and explore. So, you know, I mean, I can, oh, I've got the bonus of being able to sit here and watch him all night do this. Mm -hmm. Well, I've woken up this morning and my little man has found a little posse down there. I've lowered the temps a little bit because uh, I sort of tested some of the areas and it was relatively a bit warm. I did put a bigger wattage so I might well, the fact is, because I have a dimming thermostat, basically, um, whether I've got a, a bigger wattage in there or not is no big deal because it will actually um, dim down when the temp gets too high. So, he's doing okay. He explored four hours last night so I'm guessing he's exhausted and he's gonna sleep all day he's actually on those um, that cork bark that I've put in there so you know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna leave him be feed him on Wednesday before I you know get him out let him have some time to get used to this this uh, big enclosure and you know you, I put him in here and he looks like that little guy all over again so yeah <laughs>